and for me basically it was my first travel, first time on airplane, first time out of the country. It was. We were saying like we we're, were not sure that we we're gonna come back to Sri Lanka, you know, because we had some really good experiences, but on the other side we had some bad experiences. And the best thing in the kids' curfew is that, that I was stuck with my brother, you know, like. Yeah. If, if I was alone or if he was alone, definitely it would be like more difficult, more, much more complicated and difficult to walk. <laughs> it was life changing. It's not a game, it's a red skin. Cheese world, it's Chi Hero here. Hope you guys are doing well and hope you guys are staying safe. Um, so today I have this amazing video that is very different that I've never done before. Um, and this is a very heart-touching video. So I really hope you guys would enjoy this and watch this until the end because as you can see from the title, this is something most of us and actually all of us have been going through. So and this is to show the experience of two young men who got stuck in a foreign country and their experience what they faced through what they learned and what sort of trouble they went through it's a very heart touching topic and hopefully you guys um to see hope for yourself and be powerful and be happy no matter what so hope you guys enjoy this video and let's just jump right into the video. Hello, uh, my name is Alushka. I'm from Lebanon, I'm 27. And uh, we're staying in this beautiful place with this beautiful family. And uh, we're having a good time. <laughs> I'm his brother, Cesar Ghanem also, from Lebanon. And the way I came in Sri Lanka in 27 December, and you came in October. So what did you do before you came to Sri Lanka? Uh, I, I had a job. I was a service advisor at a car company. And uh, for four years after I graduated, I started working. Four years, I left my job. And I followed my passion, which is photography. Then I started freelancing. I started from zero. I got a camera. I started learning, took some online courses. And uh, it was actually good for a couple of months. Then I volunteered in a campsite, like uh, we lived a simple life, uh, it was really good, it was life changing, this experience, like the simple, simple life, you know, every day sleeping under the stars, under the moon, it was amazing, and there I met some friends, we got some, clo like, we got close, and uh, they had a project here in Sri Lanka, and like a restaurant and a hotel, so they invited me to come with them, so I came. And it's been seven months. I came October uh, 23rd. Till now, it's been seven months. My plan was to leave in April, first week of April. But then the curfew happened, lockdown, all the reports. So we got stuck here till now. What about you? <laughs> I was working also in Lebanon in a job uh, as a waiter in a five star hotel for a couple of months. Um, until I left the job and went to the campsite and in the campsite I stayed for seven months all the season and uh, the owner of the campsite had a project here so I came also to Sri Lanka to help him here. Our plan was staying with our friends, one of my friends which have a restaurant in Merissa and his friend have a restaurant in a hotel in Marigama so he stayed with them and I stayed with uh, my friend and we helped them out and our plan was like to to have another another business basically so since the curfew happened we stayed two months and then we moved together away from from the work and uh, i had a ticket to lebanon in one april and uh, one ticket to nepal in 14 april so both of them are cancelled and uh, we, we're stuck in sri lanka we we had a rough times, but since we moved here, it was the best the best time, obvious, because uh, the house is clean and big and uh, and good food also. 
<laughs> yeah. Stuck in paradise. Yeah. <laughs> On the beach. <laughs> so you mentioned that when you were due to go you you got you lost a lot of money, right? So how did you how did you feel like when you got stuck here? We didn't we didn't have a plan. Actually like everyone else like who got stuck here or in any other country, not his country. Like when it's your country it's different. Like you have your own home, you have you have something to, to lean your back on, you know? But uh, getting stuck here like it's okay, it's paradise, we, especially the first couple of weeks uh, during the curfew, we had a lot of fun, but then it got much more complicated and our money started to finish, we didn't have any thing to do, and uh, no jobs, no work, so we, we managed, we managed as, as much as we could, we did our best, and here we are. What about you? Also the same, I was with him, because uh, I was working with my friend and then I left and then I came working with his friend basically, so we were living together before the curfew. So then the curfew happened and we were together since then. The best thing in the curfew is that like, I was stuck with my brother, you know? Like, if, if I was alone or if he was alone, definitely it would be like more difficult, more, much more complicated and difficult thing. But like, we had each other's backs always, you know? We, you have someone to talk to, you can trust. And... What did you learn during this experience? I hope you learned a lot. <laughs> wow. <laughs> it was life changing. Before the curfew, when we first came to Sri Lanka, uh, it was like a new phase of our lives. Completely new. Everything was new. Even like like the country, the people, the culture, even tourists. Like the type of tourists that come here are different than the tourists that come to Lebanon, my country. Like, and we met a whole lot of people from all different countries. We became good friends with most of them. It was really good, it was really good. And our plan was this year, like this year was to come and learn and gain as much as we can, like valuable experience. And next year, uh, we were planning to do our own business uh, if we were ready. We are ready, but the situation is preventing us, like the Corona and all this. So the tourist, tourism is going to be difficult next year. But our plan was like to uh, to have our own business. You know? What about you? Also, <clears throat> the same. The same experience you had since we spent a lot of time. And we met all these people from around the world. And for me, basically, it was my first travel. First time on airplane, first time out of the country. It was... It was so good, and now I'm planning to travel always. So you mentioned you went on the train, slept yeah, under the waterfall. To the waterfall, we slept in the forests, we did crazy stuff. Since the weather is good, yeah. there's no rain, there's no snow, so we can manage outside. And so did you have the best time ever, like before everything happened, before, you know, lockdown and all that? Yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah. Oh. So out of this, what you have learned from that, what will you do for the future? Due to the circumstances, we don't have a plan. More, most probably, we're gonna do something online. Try to find a job or work something online just to gain some money to keep us going. But for the time being, like uh, since we're here in Sri Lanka, we, we don't have a plan. We're just planning to go back to Lebanon and from there we'll, we'll have a fresh start. What about you? I'm still searching for my for my purpose because I have achieved like a lot of simple dreams, you can say, but uh, I'm not finding the the biggest one. Hopefully, you'll find it soon. Yeah. So we do have good news, right? Of course. Right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yesterday we had a phone call from the embassy. Lebanese embassy and they told us there's a flight after two months and a half we've been searching for flights every time the flight got cancelled so two months and a half months later we have a phone call which was yesterday and the phone call was there's a flight <laughs> it's tomorrow to 2nd of June uh, we're gonna have to Qatar and from Qatar to Lebanon finally <laughs> finally going yeah. home yeah. so how are you like so you came to our house 
about 10 days ago, right? Yeah. So we ourselves, we knew you were so good, like amazing people, but still yesterday we saw the happiness in both of you. <laughs> like you were really happy. You came out and played, yeah. which you never do, right? You played with us from the yeah. beginning. Yeah. I which, played the first day, you yeah. played the last day. Last day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 See, yeah. like we saw your happiness yesterday, like, which we before, are also happy. Before we came to, to your place here, uh, we were saying like, we're, we're not sure that we're gonna come back to Sri Lanka, you know, because we had some really good experiences, but on the other side, we had some bad experiences, especially on the lockdown, people people got bored, you know, and in every country there's good people and there's not so good people. So we we touched both sides, mm -hmm. you know, but, so, but after we came to your place, we're definitely coming back. <laughs> this is for sure. Definitely, definitely. As soon as Corona finishes, you'll see us here. <laughs> Really? Because like it was it was really good these ten days although not much but like we wish we came here like much earlier we wish we come here much 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 earlier and well we would figure things out much more easy. It's nice. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank Thanks you for you for all what you <laughs> did for us. You were yeah. so kind to us. You were so generous. You were. We wish we can repay you someday, you know, oh, return no. the favor, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so when you go to Lebanon to visit or to tour. Sure, we'll definitely visit you. Yeah. have a home there. <laughs> Thank you. You also have a home here whenever you come to Sri Lanka. Obviously, you, Lanka. Obviously you can come here. Thank you so much for Thank joining. You. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank it's you. Been a pleasure. <laughs> hey, Alushka and Caesar, this video is just for y'all, in memory of y'all, and we are so sad that you guys left. Definitely we are really really missing you guys like obviously wished that you stayed longer but we are really happy that you reached home safely and we are just so happy that you are back with your mother and your dog. Please say hi to your mom and your cute dog and also I'm really happy for you guys that you reached home and hope you have a great fresh start. Sit back, rest well make things come back together you know like think about your future and have an amazing time we had an amazing time with you here and thank you so much for those memories you guys are just part of our family all the time whenever you come to sri lanka this is going to be your home you're always welcome to our family and i have to say you guys are like just brothers to us we love you so much yeah so we are definitely missing you see you very soon Enjoyed this video um, it is very it is such a different story maybe you guys could relate obviously we could relate because all of us are stuck at work doctors nurses policemen there's much more those they are the actual heroes who saved us from this um, huge pandemic and they're the actual heroes that saved our lives so we are going through a lot it's not over yet but we have to make sure we stay safe, stay indoors and do the best for the world. So yeah, 
there's hope for us you guys there's a new beginning definitely we can't go back to who, who, how we were before because obviously those stuff that happened will be always in our heart it will be a different you know new beginning we should be powerful no matter what so yeah hope you guys enjoy and also i had a live session on instagram that would also make you powerful and also give you inspiration uh, make sure you go to my instagram which is linked down below and check it out and also both these amazing people who participated in this video their instagrams the social medias will be linked down below make sure you go and give them a follow because they absolutely deserve it love you guys always see you in my next video bye